Hey everybody, Jay at Lock and Lube, and today really excited to talk with you about our tire inflator with the digital gate. This is a brand new product, a brand new addition to our Lock Inflate airline. Now this gauge is rated up to 300 PSI, and that's 21 bar for those of you that speak bar. Uh, the gauge here is surrounded by a uh, protective rubber casing that's gonna protect it from drops or falls. Uh, once you turn it on, you'll see a bright backlight if you're working in a dark shop. The gauge here registers to a tenth of a PSI, and the accuracy is within plus or minus 1%. So you're gonna get a super accurate readout, and with one-handed operation, you've got the ability to inflate with this silver handle here, or deflate with this brass button. So the digital gauge on our tire inflator is dead simple to use. Here's the on button. When you turn it on, the backlight engages. You can see your standard over here. It's measuring in PSI. Push the on button again to switch into bar, kilopascals, or kilogram force per square centimeter. Now, if anyone actually uses that standard, drop a comment on the video and let us know because I don't even know. I leave it in PSI. If for some reason you want the light off, you can turn it off. Or if you want to force it on, you can force it on. To turn the gauge off, hold down the power button. Okay, so on the end of the inflator, we've got a 24 inch braided stainless steel hose. And on the end of that hose, of course, is our lock inflate locking air chuck. Now the tire inflator is powered by two AAA batteries. Uh, replacing those is super easy. You can take the rubber cover off the gauge or leave it on, I take it off because it's easier to grab on, and twist this counterclockwise, lefty loosey, and this pops right off. And on the back, you've got uh, two silver screws right here. I've got a uh, number one Phillips head. Simply loosen the screws. And once the screws are out, this panel pops right off. If these ever run out, simply pop them out, put some new ones in and put the whole unit back together and you're back in business. So we've got our uh, tire inflator hooked up to our airline now so we can show you how it works. We've aired down this tire pretty much all the way. A Little bit of pressure in it so you can see how this works. I'll turn this off so you can see a neat feature. If you forget to turn the gauge on but you engage the air chuck on a tire, so we're on the Schrader valve we're locked on there, and the gauge senses pressure in the system and starts going. You can see that it's showing a readout of the pressure going in. We've got about 50 PSI coming out of our compressor right now. When I stop inflating, that static readout there is gonna show me what's in the tire. So we're at 19.9 PSI. I'm gonna hit my deflate button here and start to let some air out. Now we're at 19.1. So you get the readout to within a tenth of a PSI. You know the accuracy is within plus or minus 1%. And so you can get a super accurate reading on how much air is in your tire. All right, we're at 20.2. And for the purposes of our demonstration, we'll leave it there. That is how you use the lock inflate tire inflator with the digital gauge. Thank you for watching. And for more information, you can check out lockandlube.com.